my new laundry routine, yes! So this is my laundry machine. Let me show you real quick. This is my new laundry machine. It is the brand Mirax. So it looks like this. I watched so many videos before I decided to get one of these. And I actually bought this one from somebody. They're usually like $120 on Amazon, but I got this one from someone for 60 bucks. Y'all know I love me a good deal. It even still has some of the plastic on it. I should probably take that off, right? <laughs> so I already have some clothes in there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab Jace's sheets because he had a little accident last night. But I'm gonna show you all of the components. So here is where the clothes go. And we already have some clothes in there. We've just been like dumping our dirty clothes in there as we get out of the shower. And then this is the spin dryer. So the spin dryer doesn't dry your clothes. It wrings out all the water and then you hang dry. To some people that may be like a huge turnoff, but it doesn't really phase me. And you have both water inlets here. So what you would do, it came with this little thing. Let me pull it out. Connect the hose like that. And then you would take this and then connect it to the sink or something. Don't mind my sink, it's a mess. I need to already clean up in this house. So you would connect it like this, but this one doesn't fit. So I am probably going to figure out a way to like break this so it does fit. But the way that I've been doing it, honestly, I think is a bit faster, which I'll show you on a little bit. So it has the times on here and it's a 15 minute wash time and you can do it through or do it two times because you would to do your wash and your rinse. It has the settings here, so soft and standard. I just use standard and then your drain. And then the speed or the spin dryer is five minutes long. Usually one time is fine for me. Um, and then it'll usually take me like two or three loads in the spin dryer just depending on what I have in here. So I'm gonna show y'all how I use this. It's actually perfect timing because like I said, Jace had a teeny tiny accident last night. If I didn't say that, did I say that? I don't remember. So let me show y'all how I wash my clothes. Okay, so the easiest way that I do this is in the bathtub and because of where the outlet is, I have to do it backwards. I'll probably figure out a better way to do that eventually, but for right now, that's what's working. So it's super, super light. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm going to put it in, like I said, backwards into the tub, okay? So here is your power cord, and this power cord is, I forget what it's called, but it's the special circuits to where if water hits it, like the whole thing will cut out. I can't remember what that's called. I'll figure it out, I'll leave it here on the screen. So no one's like, oh my God, she's getting water on the cord, she's gonna blow her house up. No. <laughs> so here is the cord, and I'm gonna go and grab the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna put in here so I can show y'all um, how much it can fit. Okay, so I have Jason's sheet here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take out a pair of sweatpants just because they're a light color. So I'm gonna take those out, and then Jason's PJs and stuff from last night are in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. Honestly, it can fit more, but I'm not going to put more in just because I want to make sure that the sheet gets washed really well because toddler accident problems, you know? So let me show y'all what that looks like. So here is what it looks like. As you can tell, I have quite a bit of space left in here that I could put more stuff, but I have a sheet in here and then I have um, his undies and stuff and his socks and his PJs. So I'm going to wash all of this. And let me show you what I'm gonna use for my detergent and how I fill up the washer. Here is the soap that I'm using. It is just good old fashioned game. This is honestly all that was left at Target. Uh, I wanted to get Miss Myers or Method or something, but they did not have any. So this is all that was left. I'm gonna take about a half a cup-ish, a little bit more. I'm gonna dump it in. And I'm also going to Softener. This is the best fabric softener ever. Oh my gosh, it smells so stinking good. It's in the scent Beach Sage. Y'all, if you have not tried this, you need to try it. It's a hair bit expensive, but it's, I love it. So I'm gonna add this in. Some people might say I'm doing this backwards, but this is the way that I like to wash my clothes. Okay, so, whoop. So, I need to buy a bucket, but I have not been able to go out and get one because we've been trying to stay inside, obviously. So I am just using the insert for my Instant Pot because this is the biggest pot that I have right now. 
and I'm going to probably do about three of these. So this is about, what is this, eight quarts or something like that? Probably more, I don't know. But I'm gonna do about three of these and fill up the washing machine with the water from the tub. Okay, so we have three and a half full um, pots of water in here. So as you can see, everything's in there. Now all I'm going to do is close the lid and you wanna make sure that you have your drain hose here hooked up and that it's not sitting on the drain cycle because then all the water that you put in would just boop, go right out. So I'm gonna plug her in. Now, I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes, so you're just gonna take this, and like I said, I'm so sorry it's backwards, but that's just the way that I have to do it. So you're gonna take it and turn it, and it's honestly not that loud, like, at all. Like, shh, listen. It seriously sounds like a regular washing machine. So when you open it up, because you can look, it's a pretty strong current. So we're gonna let that run for 15 minutes. Okay, so it has stopped washing, and now we are going to, see, it's all in there, all sudsy and stuff. Now we are going to put that part down and hit drain. So now, oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, all that dirty water from your blanket. So now all of that is gonna drain out, and then we'll fill me? it up. No. <laughs> Possibly. So we're draining all of it out, and then in a little bit, we'll add more water and we'll do a rinse cycle. Right, yeah. buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have the other water in here. Now we're gonna flip the lid and we are going to put it on for about eight minutes or so. And we'll just flip it tonight. And it's gonna do its thing. Hey, so it has stopped. We're gonna hit drain again, then let everything drain out. The water is much more clear than what it was before. Okay, so all the water has drained out. Now we're gonna open this up, and this is what keeps everything down in there. So, let us do the sheet first. Oh, of course, everything is all tangled. Hold on. Okay, so we got the sheet in there, and that is all that is left. So we're gonna take this little guy, and we're gonna pop it in there that down, close it up, and make sure your drain pipe is out, and we are going to turn the skin tight on for five minutes. There it goes. And it has stopped. Okay, so pop this out, and all of the water has been wrung out. So we're gonna take this and hang this on the drying rack. So this is the finished product. That 
is all I have for y'all for this video. I'm actually going to continue washing because I have that basket right there to do. So I'm gonna continue washing. If you guys would like another video or an in-depth video about different types of clothing that you can wash in there, like jeans, towels, all that stuff, let your girl know, because I love this thing. I will link it down below if I can find the specific one. If not, I will link a couple of them that are similar. So yeah, thank y'all so much for the continued love and support. I hope you found some value and some information in this video. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.